Hello and welcome back. This is second video on our series of deploying Palo Alto Virtual Appliance on Azure with HA using Azure Load Balancer. So as per our project plan, uh, this is our second video and in this video we'll create resource groups and virtual networks. So let's move to our Azure portal. If you click on resource groups, here we'll create our first resource group. We'll name it as a Palo RG VNet underscore LB. So Palo is our project name. RG is a service which is resource group VNet and LB. These two services will be hosted and location will uh, will be a UK South in this case. All right. So make sure you uh, you have selected UK South region for all of your. Um, all of your services if you are following this guide all right so same thing we'll do for second resource group we'll name name second resource group as a palo rgfw1 again palo is project rg is a resource group and fw1 is a service so um Again, look at organizational policies, whatever is your asset management or naming convention policy, you should follow that. For the sake of this uh, video, we'll keep it simple. So let's uh, create a third resource group. This is named as a Palo RG FW2. So this will be used to host the second firewall. All right, review and create. And similarly, we'll create a fourth resource group. This resource group will be used to host our test VMs. In total, we'll be creating two test VMs and uh, one test VNet. So all these three components will be hosted in this resource group. Okay, now that our resource groups have been created, let's go back to our list of resource groups. And then uh, we'll select first resource group, which is Palo RG VNet underscore LB. So here we'll be creating our first VNet. Click create, select virtual network from the Azure marketplace. It takes some time to load. All right, so in search the marketplace, type in virtual network, click enter. All right. Okay, click create. Okay, so in my case, I'll give it a name which is easy to remember. Uh, Palo VNet FW underscore LB because firewalls and load balancer both will be using this uh, VNet region. It took automatically UK South because our uh, resource group is hosted in UK South. So uh, that's why um, the location is already showing as UK South. Make sure it is correct resource group vnet underscore LB. Uh, okay, now go to IP addresses. So this is important. Uh, as we discussed earlier in our slide, we'll be creating three address spaces and three subnets here. First for trust, then for untrust, all right, and third for the management. So once the address spaces are created, we'll have to create a subnets also. Click add subnet. This is management subnet, so we'll give it a name which is easy to remember. Similarly, same thing we'll do for our untrust subnet, add subnet, uh, paste the untrust subnet and give it a name which is easy to remember. And same we are going to do for our trust subnet. So I'll click on add subnet once again, paste the subnet and give it a name which is easy to remember is trust. All right. So once these subnets are added, you and create. Okay, create. While it's being created, let's move back to our resource groups and create a second VNet. So second VNet will be created in our test uh, resource group. All right, the resource is created. Let's go back to resource groups. 
okay so now we'll be going yeah follow rg test vm click create yeah so i'll name it as a fallow uh fallow vnet test underscore vm so let me copy and paste it quickly okay click virtual network okay create virtual network all right again make sure it's a correct resource group correct subscription and correct location okay so i'll name it palo vnet test underscore vm now let's move to ip addresses as discussed earlier we'll be creating two address spaces and two subnets here so address space is a wide range it could be slash 24 slash 16 as per your requirement and subnet is something which uh, which is usually uh, a smaller range uh, directly which is going to be directly assigned to a vnet Okay, what was that? I think there is a problem with my copy paste. Yes, there is a space. All right, that's fixed now. So now click on add subnet, paste it. So 172.200.200.0 that we are going to use for VM2. So let's give it a name VM2, which is uh, easy to remember. Again, there is a space which I need okay now same thing we are going to do for the vm1 as well okay so we'll create another subnet called sorry vm1 all right that's it now click review and create all right validation passed okay so once these both vnets are created go through these vnets and make sure your location your subscription your uh, resource groups are the uh, correct ones if you click on go to resource click on overview it shows you your location your resource group your uh, region your subscription make sure everything is correct you can click on subnets and address spaces as well all right so in next video now we'll go ahead and create our first vm uh, first virtual appliance on azure so see you in next video please let me know if you have any comments thank you so much